Whether you love coal or loathe it, worry about the planet or not, there's no avoiding the push for clean energy. World bodies, national governments, state and local administrations, political parties of all stripes, big business, they're all committing to net zero. And most of them pretend we can get there with renewable energy, mainly solar and wind. We believe in net zero emissions here at the City of Newcastle. We can do this with different energy sources like renewables, offshore wind, hydrogen power. We don't need nuclear. But increasingly, other environmental campaigners insist this is just not possible. No, we cannot do it with renewable energy alone. A key part of protecting the natural environment for my children is nuclear energy. That is just a fact. Nuclear energy is clean, it's reliable, and if we embrace it now, we can combat climate change and benefit generations to come. Newcastle in New South Wales is the world's largest coal exporting port. So in the energy debate, it's ground zero. There's been a real dearth of leadership in terms of policy in dealing with climate change, in dealing with the net zero emission targets. And what you have seen is local government fill that gap. And uh, the city of Newcastle has been a leader in that field. Nuatali Nelms is with the Labor Party. As the coal city's mayor, she promotes Newcastle's green credentials. As a Labor Mayor, you're committed to Australia and the world getting to net zero by 2050, yet you want to keep a coal exporting industry? Yeah, the juxtaposition is real, but we are literally at the coalface of what is happening in terms of energy, uh, not just in Australia, but around the world. So we absolutely recognise that, the, that coal will see out my lifetime, but that doesn't mean you cannot protect those jobs and have a plan for the future. But how does Australia or the world get to net zero by 2050 with all that coal going out of the port? So everyone, I think, needs to take responsibility for their own actions. And we have our own uh, net zero emissions targets by 2030 for our own operations here at the City of Newcastle. It just does my head in how big this challenge is, how many solar farms you would have to build to replace just one day's exports from this port. There is not going to be one energy source that completely replaces the energy sources we have now. And that is why we needed leadership decades ago to actually have a plan that transitions us over generations. That's what would have been sensible. We are playing catch up now and we are a little bit behind the eight ball. Her city was founded on coal, fuelled by coal, and is still dependent on the coal fields of the Hunter Valley. But Mayor Nelms believes in renewables. She's proud of how this small solar farm supplies most of the council's electricity. So is it you doing your bit or is it just a gesture? So for us here, it's about meeting our own targets to reduce our emissions. And imagine if every local government area, every organisation had their own targets in place, we would meet not only the 2030 goal that we set in Newcastle, but a national 2050 goal. There are no easy answers when it comes to replacing coal. Coal trains supply this port 24 seven. Each train carriage carrying about 100 tonnes of coal. Thousands of ships export about 400 million tonnes of Australian coal every year to China, Japan, South Korea, where it's used to make steel and generate electricity. 
That's enough coal to produce double Australia's annual greenhouse gas emissions, or enough to largely power three countries the size of Australia. Replacing that amount of energy is a massive challenge. How on earth can you get Australia to net zero with wind turbines and solar farms? It just can't be done with the existing technology, can it? Well, you, you tap into the hydrogen uh, as a fuel source and you also have to tap into all the other fuel sources as well. Except nuclear. I do not support nuclear. But why not nuclear? Because of the risk reward. You, you have to look at the, the short-term benefits do not, I see, outweigh the long-term risks.